So we begin with a concerning situation for both parents and students in the northwest part of town. CCSD police confirm it's investigating possible violent threats made against some students at Arborview High School. It's located near Buffalo and Grand Teton in Centennial Hills. Hector Mejia is reporting live outside the campus with the latest from authorities. Hector? Kirsten, a very visible presence from both CCSD and Metro Police circling Arborview High School here throughout the morning. And since the school notified parents about that violent threat, many of them have been showing up to pull their kids from school this morning. One mother shared with us the voicemail she received from school administrators earlier today. We are aware of a social media account that includes racial comments and possible threatening messaging. According to CCSD police, a couple of parents contacted their dispatch center last night about the post targeting students at Arbor View. Metro Police and the Fusion Center are now helping them chase leads. At this point, however, school police cannot say whether the post is credible or not because they say it's still early in their investigation. One parent said the threat targets black students here. Another parent we talked with is now wondering how she'll explain this to her special needs child. How do I even start that conversation with him? We just accept everybody. He has friends of every color, every race. We've we never had that issue with that in our household. And now I have to go and explain to him that some kids at school don't like him because of the shade of his skin. That's, it's unacceptable. Very terrifying. You send your children to school thinking they would be safe, and it'll just take that one day when you get that call, and they won't come home. The school principal is asking parents and students to share any information they may have on the post or the source of the social media account. And parents are also encouraged to reach out to the district through their Safe Voice tip line. Reporting live this afternoon, Hector Mejia, 8 News Now.